Welcome to Counters. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at how to calculate interest rates using the financial calculator, the HP 10B2+. Now, we've done many other lessons using this financial calculator, and they are very important if you do not know how to use this financial calculator on calculating time value of money. So you'll find the link to those lessons in the description below. So let's look at these examples where we have to calculate interest rate. The first one says, if you invest 10,000 Rand today in an account that will result in 14,500 Rand in five years time, what is the interest rate that is earned? So here we have to calculate interest rate. We are given the amount that you are investing, which is 10,000 Rand, which is our present value. We are also given the future value because it will result in 14,500 Rand. And we are given the time period, which is five years. So we have to calculate the interest rate that is earned. If you invest today 10,000 Rand, you're getting back 14,500 Rand in five years time. That means you have earned interest. So let's see what that interest rate is. So what are we going to do? Well, first things first, clear the memory for your calculator. You just press the orange button and you press C and it has cleared the memory of our calculator. Another thing we have to do is that by default, this calculator is compounded 12 times per year. So we need to change that to one time per year unless they specifically told us that the interest rate is compounded monthly. So let's change that. How do I know it's compounded 12 times? Well, I press the orange button and I press C and you can see it's 12 times per year. So for me to change that, I just press one and then I press the orange button and then I press PMT. You can see under it is written payments per year or P slash YR. And now I've changed it. So you can press the orange button and C again and you can see it's now one payment per year, meaning it's compounded annually. And like I said, unless they specifically tell us that the compounding is anything than annually. So we can now do our calculation. What do we do? The first thing that we do there is to put the number of years. The number of years is five. So I press five and then I press N for the number of years. And then I put in my present value, which is the 10,000 rand. So I press 10,000. And then I put it as a negative. Remember, your present value and your future value must have opposite signs. So if I put my present value as a positive, I must put my future value as a negative and vice versa. But I'm going to put my present value as a negative because I'm paying this money in or I'm investing this amount. I press the plus slash minus sign. Don't press the minus sign. It's not going to put it. Just press here, the plus slash minus sign. And then I press PV as the present value. And then the future value is what I'll be receiving in five years time. So I press the 14,500. So I press 14. 500 remember i put my present value as a negative so my future value will be positive and then i just press fv and then all i need to do is just to press the i slash yr and there it has given me my interest rate the interest rate that is earned on this account is 7.71 percent i hope that was simple enough let's move on to the second example we asked here if joe wants to have 35,000 rand in 10 years time and is willing to invest 2700 at the end of each year what does the interest rate need to be for him to achieve this goal so joe wants to have 35,000 rand in 10 years time and is willing to invest 2700 at the end of each year so he wants to know what interest rate do i need to earn for me to have 35,000 rand at the end of 10 years so we'll do the exact same way we did it so orange and then c to clear my memory and then the payment is still once per year remember we haven't changed it back to the default which is 12 times per year so we want to work with one because he wants to invest 2700 at the end of each year so it's annually so it's at the end of the year and another thing that you note here it's at the end of the year so it's not annuity due where payments occur at the beginning of the year and we've done a lesson on that you'll find it in the description below so let's continue the first thing that we need to put here is the number of years, which is 10. So I just press 10 and then I press N. And then the second thing that I need to do is to put in the payment. He's willing to invest 2,700 Rand at the end of each year. So we put 2,700. Again, I'm going to put this one as a negative. So I press the plus slash minus sign. And then I press PMT for the payment because it's going to be occurring at the end of each year. And then he wants to have 35,000 Rand in 10 years time. That is the future value. So I press 35,000 Rand. I'm going to leave it as a positive and just press FV and I've done all I need to do. Now I just need to press the I slash YR and it gives me my interest rate, which is 5.64%. So if Joe can earn 5.64%, he will be able to have 35,000 Rand at the end of 10 years if he invests 2,700 Rand at the end of each year. I hope it's making sense thus far as well. Let's look at the third example. We are told here, if you can borrow 20,000 Rand from the bank, and you're required to pay back 3,000 Rand at the end of each year. For the next 10 years, what is the interest that you are charged? 
Again, this one is compounded annually because we're not told that it's anything other than annually. And we're going to deal with that just now in the questions to follow. So let's press the orange button and see to clear our memory. It's still compounded once per year and make sure that is the case. And then if you can borrow 20,000 rand from the bank, and you are required to pay back 3,000 rand at the end of each year for the next 10 years. So we know our compounding period is 10 years. So we put 10 and then we press N. And then the 20,000 rand is the present value because we'll be borrowing that money today and it's going to be coming into our account today. So I put 20,000 rand and then I put it as PV. I put it as a positive because we are receiving this money. And then you are required to pay back 3,000 rand at the end of each year. So I put 3,000. And then I put it as a negative because you'll be paying this money out again. My PV and my PMT must have opposite signs. And then I press PMT and then I've done all I needed to do. Now I press the I slash YR and it gives me the percentage rate, which is 8.14%. That is the interest rate that you will be charged if you can borrow 20,000 Rand from the bank. Let's look at the fourth example. If you deposit 6,000 Rand into an account that will grow to 12,000 Rand in four years, what is the interest earned if it is compounded quarterly? Now, the issue here is that it's compounded quarterly. So again, let me clear my memory, orange, and then C. And you can see the payment is still once per year. But this account will earn an interest rate that is compounded quarterly. So we need to tell the calculator that it's going to be compounded quarterly. How do we do that? Well, quarterly is four payments per year. So I'm just going to press four and then I press the orange button and then I press PMT. And now I've changed the compounding to four times. How do I check? You press the orange button and then you press C and you can see it's four times per year. Now I can do my calculation. It's for four years. It will grow to 12,000 rand in four years time. So I press four and I don't press N as yet because it's compounded more than once per year. I have to press the orange button and then I press N. And you can see there what it has done is that it has taken my number of years, which is four, and it has multiplied it by the number of compoundings per year, which is four as well. And then I put in my 6,000 rand as the present value because this is how much you would deposit today. So I press 6,000 and I put it as a negative because you'll be depositing this amount today and I press PV. And then the next thing that I do is that I put the 12,000 rand as my future value. So I press 12,000 and then I leave it as a positive and then I press FV and then all I need to do is press I slash YR and then it has given me the percentage rate. The percentage that is earned on this account will be 17.71%. Let's move to the fifth one. We are told here if you can borrow 4,000 rand from a bank and you are required to pay back 250 rand at the end of each month for the next two years, what is the interest rate that you are charged? So here you're borrowing 4,000 rand from the bank and you are required to pay 250 rand at the end of each month for the next two years. What is the interest rate that you are charged? Again, this is compounded 12 times per year because you're paying at the end of each month, meaning 12 months in a year. So we need to change the compounding. Remember, if I clear my memory, I press orange and then C, it's still four times per year from the previous example. So I press 12 and then I press the orange button and I press PMT. And now I've changed the compounding from four times to 12 times per year. If you need to check that, you just press the orange button and C again, and you can see it's now 12 times per year. So let's do the calculation you can borrow 4,000 rand from the bank. So that is the present value. And you will need to pay back 250 at the end of each month for the next two years. So let's put the number of years, it's two. And then I don't press N as yet because it's compounded more than once per year. I press the orange button and then I press N. And what has it done? It has taken the number of years, which is two and multiplied it by the number of compoundings per year, which is 12. And now we have 24 there. And then the interest rate is what we're calculating. The present value is 4,000 rand because we're borrowing the money today. So 4,000. And then I press the PV button. I leave it as a positive because it's the money you'll be receiving from the bank if you borrow it from them. And then you're required to pay back 250 rand at the end of each month. So we put 250 and then we put it as a negative. So we press plus slash minus sign and we press PMT. And all we need to do is just to press the I slash YR and there we have the percentage, 42.42%. Quite high, but it's what we have in the example. That means you'll be paying back 42.42% if you have to pay back 250 at the end of each month for the next two years if you have borrowed 4,000 rand.
And that is how you do that one. Let's move on to the sixth one. Okay, let me clear my memory. I press orange and then I press C. We are told here that a 12-year loan of 70,000 rand has quarterly payments of 3,333 rand 33 cents. What is the interest rate if it is compounded quarterly? The second one is if it is compounded annually. And the third one is if it is compounded monthly. So let's do them one by one. So here, what do you see here? Our payment compounding might be different from our interest rate compounding. We have to take that into account. And we did a lesson specifically on that as well. So if you might be a bit confused or it's a bit difficult, you'll find the link to that other lesson in the description below as well. But here's how we'll do it. Let's do the first one. The 12 year loan of 70,000 Rand has quarterly payments of 3,333 Rand 33 cents. So, quarterly payments meaning it's compounded four times per year. So, we need to change the compounding. How much is it? Wait, remember, we had changed it. If you press orange and press C, you can see it's 12 per year. So, we need to change it to four times per year because it's quarterly. So, we press four and then we press the orange button and then we press PMT. Now it is changed. If you press the orange button and press C, you can see it's four times per year. And then what is the interest rate if it is compounded quarterly? Well, if it is compounded quarterly, then it's easy because the payment compounding and the interest rate compounding is the same. They're both quarterly. So let's do our calculation. It's for 12 years. So I'm going to press the number of years, which is 12. And then I press the orange button and then I press N. Why did I do that? Because it's compounded more than once per year. So what has it done? It has taken the 12 years and it has multiplied it by the number of compoundings per year, which is quarterly, which is four times. So it's 12 times four, which is 48, as you can see there. And then the second thing is the 70,000 rand that we put down. So we press 70,000 and that is the present value. And we put it as a positive because we'll be receiving this loan. So we press PV. And then it has quarterly payments of 3,333.33 cents. So we need to press that 3,333.33. And that is how much we'll be paying back. So we'll put it as a negative. So we press plus slash minus. And then we press PMT. And then once we have done that, all we need to do is press I slash YR. And there we have our interest rate 16.22%. So if it is compounded quarterly, and we borrowed 70,000 Rand for a period of 12 years, and we have to pay an amount of 3,333 Rand 33 cents. The interest rate we are charged is 16.22%. Now, what if the interest rate is compounded annually? Well, the payment is still happening quarterly, but the interest rate is compounded annually. So now what do we have here? We have a situation where our payment compounding is different from our interest rate compounding. Our payment compounding is four times per year, which is quarterly, and our interest rate is only compounded annually, which is once per year. So here's what we do in this financial calculator. We take note of this 16.22% since we have calculated it for quarterly, and then you write it down somewhere and remember it, 16.22%. And then all we need to do is just change it to annually. So how do you do that? Well, let me clear my memory. And remember it's 16.22% if it's compounded quarterly. And then what do I need to do? I need to put in that 16.22%. So I just press 16.22%. Okay, and that is the interest rate compounded quarterly. And then I press the orange button and then I press I slash YR and you can see under it is written NOM, which is the nominal interest rate. And you'll check out that lesson if you want to understand more on this. So put the percentage, press the orange button, press I slash YR and it gives you the nominal interest rate. And then you put in the number of compounding for this 16.22%. Well, we know it's compounded quarterly. That's the one we calculated. So you just press four orange and then you press PMT. And then once you've done that, all you need to do is just press the orange button and then press PV. And now it has given you the interest rate compounded annually based on the information that we are given. So if the interest rate is compounded annually, it will be 17.23%. Now, what if the interest rate is compounded monthly? Well, we can see that the payments occur quarterly. So my payment compounding is different from my interest rate compounding. So again, we need to take note of that. But since we have the interest rate compounded annually, we just need to change it to interest rate compounded monthly. So again, take note of this 17.23% and then we can calculate the interest rate compounded monthly. So let me clear my memory. So the interest rate is 17.23% and then I press orange button, but this time I don't press the nominal. I press the effective interest rate. So I press PV. So it's the interest rate 17.23%. Then I press the orange button and then I press PV. And that you can see it's written effective interest rate. Why is it effective? Because it's compounded annually. And then what I need to do is to change the compounding to monthly, which is 12 times per year. I just press 12 and then I press 
orange button and then I press P slash YR. And once I've done that, all I need to just press is the orange button and then press I slash YR. And they has given me 16%. So based on this information, a 12 year loan of 70,000 Rand and has quarterly payments of 3,333 Rand 0.33 cents. If the interest rate is compounded monthly, it will be 16%. I hope it has made sense. The last one is a bit difficult. We have done a lesson on that nominal versus effective interest rate, as well as how to do calculation when you have time value of money. And you'll find them in the description below. If you have gained value from this lesson, if you have learned something, please subscribe to our channel, like this video, and share it to those you think it might help. And if you have particular questions or difficulties with this topic or with this financial calculator, we offer one-on-one -on -one sessions at reasonable rates. You'll find our contact information in the description below. Till next time. Cheers.